don't think it's in a while. So, I get them. I'll do it. It was easier this um, Christmas because I had my camera and I kept behind my camera so I was able to talk a little bit better because you know I'm kind of shy. But anyway. One of the things I really don't like about me is that I sound like a little girl. And I have no idea how to not sound like one. Let's see what else I can say. I wanted to tell y'all about some things that are happening. Because, um, you know how a house blows I right and everything, and the, by the time I got everything out, I was just um it'd probably be October. So, I bit the bullet, and I bought myself a domain name. Now, whether or not I'll be able to figure out how to use it, that's another story. But, I have very much good hope on that, yeah. Yeah, I'm a brilliant conversationalist. Anyway. It's just going to be called OCDBloggerGirl.com. Um, maybe if I get one of those, like, a little affiliate thing, I'll be able to make it, like, a, a little extra, a little bit of extra money for my um, big Mac obsession or whatever. So, you know, it takes a lot of work to be like this. Uh, hmm. You probably can tell I'm, I'm, I'm not, um, star potential. I just, uh, even talking like this makes me a little bit nervous. Oh, another thing I do is, um, I move my lips a lot, my nose a lot. That's weird. But then it, it often means I'm anxious. So, I'm trying to stop doing that. Mm. Let's see. There was something else I was going to... Oh, I've got, like, plenty of ideas for, for posts, and I just haven't been able to gear up to do it, because I keep thinking of things I ought to be doing otherwise, and I don't get anything done either way. So, we're going to have to work on that. And, uh... uh I'm definitely going to have to tell you about Pool Man. Yeah, he kind of annoys me. But, you know, he's like, Hi, Lisa! And everything, and I'm like, Oh, no, 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 no. But I especially abhor him because, well, I like him, but I abhor him all the same. Because, uh, like, one turn I was. I was there, and he was there, and he asked me if I was okay, like, six times while I was in the water, and I could probably swim better than he can. 
so that was a bit annoying. But lucky for me, uh, the poor man had a bit of a heat exhaustion, and so now he doesn't come early in the morning when there's nobody around. He comes later in the evening, so I get to go in the morning, really quick run in there, and do my 12 laps, and, uh, and, but I, I feel bad about it, because I'm sure he's a nice guy and everything, but I just, I don't like to be asked, like, 50, 100 times if I'm alright, when I'm obviously above water and breathing and all, and not, not uh, huffing, puffing and everything, but, you know, I ought to be more, um, more considerate of people, since I myself am like mental, but if somebody asks you if you're alright like uh, 50,000 times, it just, you know, you he probably has some sort of OCD thing going on himself, he's got something wrong with him I think. But, uh, hmm. yep, a little misjudgmental here. I'm thinking of, of writing the whole, whole thing about him down uh, using Jane Austen because I haven't used her in a long, long time, not since Christmas, and so I think she's due for another visit, so I'm not sure it will actually be funny this time. I'm hoping it will be, but you know how I am. I'm just going to use a lot of words and hope it sounds like Regency England with a swimming pool. An old gay guy and a fat girl swimming and slapping around. Anyway, I just wanted to see if this thing still worked. Bye bye.